This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is the 6 p.m. Barbados Today update for Monday, November the 18th, 2013. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Principal of the University of the West Indies Kayfield campus, Sir Hilary Beckles, is sticking to his guns that government did promise to guarantee a loan for the university to build new dormitories. And he is cautioning that the KFL cannot survive with a lack of support for income generating projects like that one and budget cuts at the same time. Sir Hillary last week complained of government's decision to backtrack on the guarantee. But Finance Minister Chris Sinclair hit back the following day saying that only a letter of comfort was promised. But Sir Hillary insists that the project to build international student accommodation was started on the basis of the guarantee given in 2005 to 2006. The KFL principal says with a change in government came a change in policy posture and the promised letter of guarantee was then downgraded to a letter of comfort. Sir Hillary says that failed to satisfy most investors and only one third of the bond was taken up. Without the promised explicit loan guarantee, he said, the bond then collapsed. The suspect in last Friday night's murder at Oystens will never face the law course. Ryan Atwell has taken his own life. He was being sought in connection with the death of 45-year-old Linda Tull, and police had arrested him yesterday. But police PRO Inspector David Belt says Atwell apparently drank poison before Lamen got to him. On the apprehension of Ryan Atwell, he indicated to the arresting officers that he had drank a noxious substance. He was immediately taken to the QEH, where he was warded. He died around 7 a.m. on Monday, the 18th of November. This is the second case within days of a man attacking a woman and then taking his own life. Last Wednesday, 60-year-old Vincent McLean Marshall stabbed his fiancée, Judy Brathwaite, and her friend Maureen Callender Harris before drinking a poisonous substance. The two women survived the attack, but he died at the hospital. And Barbados will from next year have to pay a new fee to get their barrels out of the Bridgetown port. Chief Executive Officer David Jean-Marie says the cost of processing, sorting and moving barrels is significant and the port will have to pass it on to customers. We are looking to implement a reasonable fee to, to the persons importing barrels and equivalent size units. Jean-Marie did not indicate how much the fee will be. In sports now, despite the recent whitewash in India, West Indies electors have named an unchanged 15-man squad for the test tour of New Zealand starting month end. Captain Darren Sami will lead his troops on the November 27th to January 15th tour. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildey. All trade-ins are welcomed. In the region, thousands of protesters today took to the streets of Haiti, demanding that President Michel Martelly leave office. Those in the capital lit discarded tires and tore down and burnt posters and billboards bearing the president's face. Martelly has held office since 2011, but there has been mounting tension over his government's failure to hold legislative and local elections that are two years overdue. Internationally, 
45 suspected members of a mafia gang have been arrested in Italy. Police say the suspects have been charged with 150 crimes, including murder, drug trafficking, and extortion. And that's our 6 p.m. update. Join us again at 7 tomorrow morning. Until then, log on to www.barbadostoday.bb for more news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. This news update brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power.